Welcome back to Canoe Live. Students at George Brown College got the chance to redesign the popular video game Half-Life 2 as part of the McLuhan Festival, which examines the world of digital and media arts. In this year-end project, the students used various locations in Toronto as a backdrop in a press conference at the George Brown campus tonight to kick off Vortex 2007, gives the public the chance to play the video game and take a virtual ride through the city. Well, joining me now from George Brown College is Ezra Arellana, a uh, student who helped design these, this cool project. Ezra, thank you for being here. It's good to be here. Well, what's the concept of the video game and how did you end up working on this project? Well, basically, uh, the story of Half-Life 2 is that an alien invasion has occurred on Earth, taking over all major cities. Now, in the original Half-Life, they take over a city in Europe, so it was our idea to make it more about Toronto instead of Europe. And how difficult was that to uh, focus on Toronto? It's uh, very difficult, uh, solely because of the fact that Toronto is a big city and uh, we had to actually go around and take hundreds of pictures uh, just to get the reference material and just to get things just right. So take us through the process. You took the pictures and then what? Uh, then we input it into a computer where we would manipulate it and then uh, place it into our art uh, 3D models. Uh, which then we would import into the game. What are you most impressed with uh, what you accomplished? Well, I'm impressed with the, the fact that we got the look of Toronto and the feel of Toronto uh, pretty accurate. Uh, you know, you can always uh, build upon it and improve upon it, but for the time that we had, I'm really happy with the look of it. Well, tonight people have the opportunity to play the game, but uh, I'm sure you've had others play it who, war who weren't involved with the project. What was their feedback? Uh, they were impressed. Uh, they liked the gameplay and they just liked how they saw uh, some of Toronto's noticeable locales uh, being able to interact and play in them. Now there's definitely a huge following of gamers in this city. Are more Canadians starting to get involved in this field? Uh, I believe so. Uh, if, you, if you research, you can find out that some of the biggest publishers in video gaming are located in Canada. Uh, most notably uh, EA Sports in Vancouver. So yeah, uh, Canada is a hotbed for video game designers. Do you think that your project will help put Toronto on the map? Uh, I hope so, that's the aim. So what happens now? Uh, will this be distributed? Uh, yes, uh, it will be available online to the mod community and is free for download uh, on a website that we're currently working on. Now what types of things do you learn in the game design program at George Brown? Uh, we learn about prototyping uh, and game asset creation, as well as all the artistic side to it. And we also uh, include some of the technical aspects like programming and uh, prototyping. Now, what are the types of jobs that are open to uh, folks like yourself? Well, there are different fields in the game industry. I mean, there's uh, obviously there's the artists, uh, there's texture artists, there's modelers, uh, but that doesn't have to be the, the main focus. You can also be in the marketing department or uh, uh, a VP, mm -hmm. any of those uh, areas that has to relate to the games. But uh, as long as you have your foot in the door, you can pretty much uh, get any uh, position that you'd like. Well, congratulations on finishing this project, Ezra. We know you have to run to the conference at George Brown, so uh, thank you for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you. And if you want to try out this video game, you still have time to get down to the Institute Without Boundaries near the St. James campus of George Brown College. It runs until 9 o'clock tonight. Well, do you think you have a future in game design? Upload your drawings or graphic animations to canoelive.ca to give us a taste of your talent. We're going to take a break now, but when we come back, David J. will be here with entertainment. Stay with us. Up next on Canoe Live, Angelina Jolie is in the news today and we'll find her front and center in today's Stupid Star Trek.